never slowing down, never growing old. Whenever you're around, I want to lose control in every way. Canberra in the autumn is just a wonderful place to be. The leaves are changing colour, and what better area to see it in than the shores of Lake Burley Griffin? People are here everywhere enjoying that last warmth of sunshine before winter sets in. But I'm here to meet a young lady by the name of Laura and her border colleague called Bex. And I think I see them just over there. I reckon you have to be Laura. I am. How are you going, Harry? Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. And this is Bex? Yes, it is. Now, I got your email, and I've got to tell you, when I read it, I was a bit concerned. So what do you think's going on? Um, well, he's been acting a little bit strange since we were in lockdown. We're a little bit worried about his behaviour and not quite sure what to do. Right on. So out here, in the wide open spaces, th there is no problem? He's pretty good. He's okay. pretty good. How far away is home? A uh, short drive away. I'm glad you said drive. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hello, Bex. How are you? You good? Eh? That's a good dog. Good dog. So we won't react to the dog in any way. Yeah. And sort of see how Bex responds. Regardless of who comes in the door, does Bex react the same way or are some people worse than others? There's definitely some people worse than others, but we still get the same behaviours coming for a lot of them. Can you think of something that started it? Well, from March last year, we were in lockdown, so we didn't have anyone over. We didn't have, we weren't going out of and course. seeing a lot of people. Of course. Um, so it was after that when we started having people over for the first time, we started to see that behaviour come in. Yeah. We do definitely have one or two people that are particularly scary for him. They're our triggers? Yes. OK, all yes. right. We'll all clear out, yep. right, and, and, and sort of see how Bex responds to yes. this one particular person. To show the nature of the problem, Laura's asked a friend who's a regular visitor to pop over. Hello, how are you going? Hey, Bex. How are you going, buddy? Can you be friendly to me today? Oh, he doesn't like you. Come on, buddy. Well, how did we get on? Can I join you? Here? Yes, you can. He still wasn't very sure of John. This is my friend John. How are you, Hello. John? Well, nice to you. meet you. Hello, how are you going? How are you going As John came in, quickly sort of started to retreat. We sat down on the couch for a little bit. Um, and he's... Looking at him the whole time, though. Yeah. yeah she's looking at him, you yeah. know. And so then ended up in that underneath the table. Now, John, you're trying to say hello. I was, yeah. All right. And um, the more you say hello, <laughs> the more Bex runs away. That's yeah. right. A couple of things that we can change in your behaviour pattern right off the top. You're going like that to the dog, OK? <laughs> with an open hand, mm -hmm. right? So that open hand to the dog looks like a claw. OK. On the other hand, that is not a threat. I mean, you know, look at this dog now. Not why. <laughs> You'd like to lick it, would you? <laughs> OK. Second thing is your eye contact. Remember, this is a working dog. Now, the border collie, if they were sheep, instead of a blue turtle, the eyes would never leave the sheep. So if you make eye contact with the dog by staring at the dog, and particularly at its eyes, because it's looking at you, then that can be a challenge and not a good idea. Don't react. Just be there. Be limp. Just be limp. Just be limp. And let the dog interact with you. And look at him. And look, just relax. Just, just go limp. It just does display, you know, the fact that, you know, Bex likes you, just to be unsure of you, right? And just wants to get to know you a bit. And then, you know, the response is to give you a lick, and that's fine. <laughs> so that's the very basics. Now there are a couple of other little fan dangles that Dr Harry wants to add. Yeah. I'm coming around here. Oh, today's nearly got your tail! Oh, social <laughs> distance, all that sort of stuff. Right up. What's the principle of all of this? The principle is... Strangers bearing gifts. Yes. So someone comes in that door and they want to be the dog's best friend. Yeah. 
How do you achieve that quite simply with some food rewards? You are sitting in what's called the rewards chair. Anyone who sits there has to reward the dog. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes is long enough. So you do it 12 times a day for probably a week. Yep. You don't even look at the dog. It doesn't have to be chicken. Yep. Cheese is very good. Believe it or not, cat biscuits are great. It's my little thing for getting dogs that are a bit worried about saying hello to people to come over and say hello. You count it? How many are we up to? Four. That's good. Are you a maths teacher? I do teach maths, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I'm counting well. Now it's up to you to teach your friends. You've done well. You are now the proud owner of a rewards chair. Just what I always wanted. Go to the top of the class. <laughs> so do you like, are you shaking my hand now? Goodness me, I want to congratulate you on conquering your fear. Because my friend, I didn't fix it. I just showed everybody else how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs>